Welcome to the Art Gallery of Algoma's Inspired by Joy series. Today we will be making art inspired by Patricia Dumas' Catching Joy. Patricia is an artist from St. Joseph Island who works with pudding stone, a rock unique to the area, and other natural materials to create her beautiful sculptural work. Today we are going to explore a fun way to create sun catchers inspired by Patricia's Catching Joy. Here's what we will need to make the project. We will need white or clear glue, acrylic paint or food coloring, as well as paint brushes, a container of water, a toothpick or a pencil, as well as scissors. You will also need string, sticks, leaves, and other natural objects. We will also need either a silicone mat or a plastic tray that your glue can dry on and will be able to be peeled off of. We're going to start by making the sun catcher parts first as they will need time to dry. To do this, I'm making circles out of glue on my silicone mat and filling them in. To do this, I'm using a pencil to help push the glue around the circle, but you could also use a paintbrush or a toothpick. We're going to do this for as many sun catcher pieces we want to make. Once my circles are done, I'm going to mix acrylic paint with some water to make it runnier. If you decide to use food coloring, you won't have to do this. We're going to drop dots of paint or food coloring onto our circles and then use a pencil, toothpick, or paintbrush to swirl them around and make some cool designs. Have fun and experiment with different colors and patterns if you do this project at home. Now we're going to let the glue fully dry. This could take a day depending on how thick the glue is. Once the pieces are dry, peel them off the base. Now working with our glue pieces and natural objects such as sticks, leaves, and twigs, we're going to plan out our sun catcher. You're going to want to try a couple of different ideas until you're happy. For my sun catcher, I'm using two branches at the top and I'm going to have my glue pieces hanging down for them as well as some pieces of cedar. I'm also going to cut holes in my sun catcher pieces so I can tie strings to them. I'm going to do this carefully with scissors, but you could also use a hole punch. In some of my pieces, I've also punched a second hole so that some of my catchers can tie to another sun catcher or even a piece of cedar. I'm going to begin assembling all of my pieces. I'm starting by tying a string at the top of my first stick that I will use to hang up my sun catcher, and then tying my two sticks together. I'm making sure to double knot so that my pieces won't come apart. After my two sticks are together, I'm going to start to add my little sun catcher pieces. I'm doing this by tying a string to the sun catcher and then tying the end of the string onto the stick where I want them to hang. I'm going to do this for all of my pieces. You'll see that I also decided to add two more sun catchers hanging down from the top stick, so I cut some holes and tied them where I wanted them. To add my cedar pieces, I'm just tying double knots around the stem of the cedar and then tying that string to my sun catcher pieces. Once we've assembled all the pieces, trim up any extra string ends from the knots, and now we can hang this in a window on a suction cup or with a piece of tape. Now you have a fun sun catcher inspired by Patricia Dumas' Catching Joy.